The Nigerian government says it will not step down on its decision of shutting down its borders against neighboring countries until there is strict compliance to economic community of West African states' trade protocol agreements by affected countries. This was made known at the end of the year interactive session between the management team of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investments and the Commerce and Industry Correspondent Association of Nigeria, Abuja. The team said the decision to reopen the borders will be based on recommendations from the patrol team on whether Niger and Benin Republic have complied with trade protocols as recently held strategic meeting to review compliance with ECOWAS protocol trade agreements indicates that the situation has not changed. What has been happening is the breach. You have containers arriving at our borders. They've already, the seal has been broken. They've been repackaged into uh, three, four, five vehicles. So you don't have the integrity of that container. And not having the integrity of that container meant there was an opportunity to put in illegal items. More especially for us is the issue of arms. arms small arms and weapons were being slipped in. Drugs were being slipped in. And then, of course, the issue of uh, the source of origin or the origin of the goods, whereby you have uh, items being repackaged and the claim is that they're produced in, uh, within an African country. We're working uh, currently with the airport authority to make sure that uh, the arrival process in the airport is made much easier and made much faster. We're working with customs to see that uh, the protection of the goods and the processes under which they are brought to the country is more effective and made faster. The whole idea is to make things easier for people to do in Nigeria with a view to encouraging them to come into the business here and to begin. But to draw a conclusion from your question is the fact that presently Nigerian trade policy is now being reviewed, given the fact that even in the ministry there was a draft in 2012. There is also another draft I prepared by the Nigerian Office for Trade Negotiation in 2017. All these two document drafts are to be consolidated to harmonize and to reflect the 21st century trade policy for Nigeria. The team also speak on an ongoing review of the country's trade policy, automotive policy, as well as Nigeria Industrial Revolution plan to reflect current economic realities. We are continuing with the program of the last administration. However, we are trying to avoid the pitfall that the last administration fell into. I will try to uh, do it in a way that will not be controversial and will not create problems. But we do intend to create these pressures to long term. We intend to uh, invite people to come and set up their factories there to make goods here for export. But I can confirm to you that there was no problem at 1.2 billion for the revitalization of the industrial industry. Our sole purpose here is to ensure that you, your Minister of State, and the management staff succeed in whatever drive. They, however, expressed Nigerians' sustained interest in the development of economic free trade zones across the country. CNN News.